Hey guys, this is Ronnie with Great Choice Audio Video, and today I'm going to talk to you about recycling. Recycling your old televisions, old electronics. You know, when you call us, you, you're getting new products, but you know, you ask us to dispose of your products. Well, you're curious what we do. We have Tom here, and he'll step in here and go talk to you. Hi, I'm Tom, and I own Green Mountain Recycling. So Tom, tell me, what got you into recycling? Well, when I was a kid, I liked to take things apart. Sometimes I even put them back together correctly. But that kind of, over the years, that kind of grew into me being concerned about the environment and seeing all the electronics going just directly into the landfill. Some of it had hazardous, some of it not. Um, I just wanted to do my part to uh, keep recyclable materials out of the landfill. Precious metals, steel, copper, everything I can think of. So Tom, what in this TV can be recycled? Well, the uh, screen itself has ITO, which is indium tin oxide. I personally cannot recover it, but hopefully we'll find someone. Um, there is steel, copper wire, aluminum, and uh, the circuit boards themselves have precious metals in them that I will either sell or process myself. So, and in terms of recycling everything, the plastic, the whole TV is pretty much recyclable at, to, at a certain point that you can do. That is correct. Um, the only thing I can't do right now is the plastic, but if anybody has a link that they would like to send me to make contact with someone who can recycle the amount of plastic that I have, get in touch with Green Mountain Recycling, um, I will put a link up for you to follow. So Tom, tell us what we have in these boxes here. Okay, I, as I take the TVs apart, I separate the recyclable metals, like aluminum and copper go in this bin. I separate the boards out by their grade. A lot of these have gold flashing on them. I hope you can see that in this bright sun out here. Um, the other boards that have a certain amount of chips on them, they're worth a little bit more than power supply boards, which have mostly transformers and capacitors on them. But all of these will be broken down even farther, eventually. The TVs that have LED strips on them, each one of those LEDs has a couple gold bond wires that is recoverable, precious metal, and then the copper will be recycled itself. So really, you make more boxes of totes to make more boxes of totes. I do. I do. I have so a lot of stuff. So you can break it down up. and recycle it all 100%. To the best of my ability. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to take this apart. First, I'm going to start by removing the power cord. Closing the wire band. Power screwdriver. You just take all kinds of screws out. And he's got a bin over here that he sorts out all the screws. Ronnie, you want to do the honors? We'll take yeah. the ones all the way around sure. to the outside. This is the opposite of what you do at work, isn't it, Ronnie? Yeah, I don't think I ever get to really take them apart like this. Now we have uh, taken them apart and replaced a IR sensor or something on a TV, but we, we tend not to want to do something like that just because of the risk it caused to, you know, take a whole TV apart. Now in this case, this TV's already broke, so we're just recycling now. Once the screen is cracked, it's more expensive to replace the screen than it is to just buy a new one. That's why there's so many TVs out there. Okay, so and if you're control. ever, you know, wondering why we always do surround sounds or, you know, sound bars, this is the speakers that they put in TVs. You see how small this is? It's not going to produce the sound quality. So always remember that. Now that you got the TV apart, you can see what one of them looked like. 
and they're all pretty similar about the same. Yeah, I guess that, that's probably what takes a little bit of your time is just trying to find out where all the screws are and pull all the nick and crony pieces out of holes like this one here. You got wire run through this little hole. And these ribbon cables to me are important to say, but I don't know if you can see that those fingers are gold flashed. It's a very tiny amount of gold, but it's a thousand of them, it adds up. And this board right here is a lucky find because it has a lot of gold flashing on it. It makes it more valuable. These boards have gold flashing. These have several gold bond wires in them, so I save those also. They go in their own bucket. This screen has several items in it. As it is right now, it would be considered a hazardous waste. So once they're disassembled and crushed, you really don't want them leaching their contents into a landfill or in a back alley or a field illegal dump site. It's, that's, that's all really bad, and that's what I'm trying to avoid for a lot of people. Um, inside is ITO, which is medium tin oxide. That's what makes the liquid crystals change their position. So if you let, when you shake it, those crystals change their positions and let light through. That's not a real good example. All plastic. When I first did that, I noticed that phenomena that it would become clear when I shook it. I didn't understand why. I did a little research and found out about liquid crystals and it's all clear now. No pun intended. And these are the LEDs that supply light to the back of the TV to give you picture? Correct. There are other ones that I have a lot of that have fluorescent tubes. I don't process those one at a time. I save them. There's one stock up there. Um, I like to have a better setup before collecting the fluorescent tubes so that they don't get broken and release mercury into the environment. Because you certainly don't want those going to the landfill or to shred at the scrapyard because that mercury and phosphorus goes everywhere. And that is one TV done. Okay, remember folks that recycling is important, not only to conserve resources, but to also protect our environment. Um, I myself have kept six tons of steel from going into the landfill, just in my little operation. So if, even if you don't use Green Mountain Recycling, Use somebody to take care of your recycling. You know, anything that you have that you think you might need, we can get you in contact with this guy and he'll come pick it up for you and help you get disposed of it in the correct ways. I'm Tom. I'm Ronnie. Have, have a great choice day. day.